myself for five minutes of questioning, and I will comment on that when you talk about communication just uh, days after uh, New York City had proposed moving uh, or sheltering migrants in a empty warehouse at JFK Airport, uh, I reached out to the mayor's office and scheduled a meeting uh, at JFK Airport to get an understanding of uh, what this shelter would look like and how it would play out. You'd figure uh, a member of the Homeland Security Committee, a member of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, two of the committees with you know, jurisdiction over one of the largest transportation hubs uh, in the country, you'd think it would be a good idea to have an open line of communication, as I do uh, rarely agree with Mayor Adams, but I do agree that this issue is going to destroy uh, New York City. Uh, so his communication has been terrible, um, and the communication not only between the mayor's office and other municipalities, but I think one of the biggest and the one most devastating, and the one that we're focusing on today is the fact that there's little communication between uh, law enforcement and public safety agencies. That's where the problem is gonna lie. I've had this conversation with County Executive Blakeman and Commissioner Ryder, uh, and I know that uh, Mr. Loda and Mr. Garbarino uh, in Suffolk share the same concerns. One of the biggest uh, issues that we're facing right now are the, the number of gotaways that are coming across our southern border, uh, individuals that are on that terror watch list. We don't know where they are, what they're doing, or who they're with, and they, without a doubt, are causing a direct concern and they are a threat to our national security. So I have a, a, some questions, uh, Mr. Awada, just of, of a testimony that you've made. So in, I don't know if you use your opening statement or one of the first questions, um, you said that immigrants are not the problem. Yes. Well, that's probably the only thing that we agree on here today. Immigrants are the problem. The problem that we're facing today is the failed policies of Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas. It's the fact that they have been derelict in their duty to protect this great homeland. That's where the problem lies. You mentioned that uh, President Biden deserves, your words, not mine, kudos. He deserves zero kudos. In fact, this country is less safe under his failed leadership than ever before. That's what we're seeing at our southern border. Now, you reside in the five boroughs, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and you mentioned that we need more policy, more policies, ones that are more fair, more equitable. Yes, and reforming our immigration system okay. as a whole. But the problem is, is that the policies that were in place have been rescinded by the Biden administration. They're not being followed by Secretary Mayorkas. They're not fair, they're not equitable, and, and, and he definitely doesn't deserve kudos. That's the issue that we're facing here. And today for this subcommittee hearing, what we're focused on is how the failed policies, how our open border is affecting public safety. How people like County Executive Blakeman continues to wake up every morning and make sure that the 1.4 million people who reside in Nassau County are kept safe. How he makes sure that the Nassau County Police Department, the 71 volunteer fire departments, emergency management and others, how they have all the resources that they need. How the sheriff makes sure that the men and women who serve under them have everything that they need to keep themselves safe. How Mr. Ansbro goes to work each and every day representing one of the greatest fire departments in this world but is dealing with historic budget cuts because of those failed policies. So I am gonna ask you, and it's a very simple yes or no question. Do you believe that the city of New York and the surrounding communities are safer in the situation that we're in with the open border? It's a yes or no question. The city of New York is safer as crime stats illustrate. The, you believe that the city of New York is safer? That is what the NYPD says, and if okay. you don't think that what the NYPD is saying is true. I, I, I served in the NYPD. I okay. wore that That's uniform. I, I wore that shield on my chest every single day, and I will tell you that New Yorkers and the people who wear that uniform now do not think the city is safer. And I, Mr. Ansbro, I would like to ask you, we're not only talking about safer in crime, we're talking about are they safer because we have the, the resources and the public safety apparatus to keep people safe. Mr. Ansbro, do you think New Yorkers are safer today? Absolutely not. Okay. And they're not safer, why? Lack of resources, a lack of staffing. Right. And they're at they the police department and fire department appropriately. Right. And, and, and just a couple of weeks ago, Mayor Adams announced 
I still have time. And I, I, I just Mayor Adams announced a couple weeks ago that he is not putting NYPD uh, police officer academy classes in place because he can't afford them. He, we just went through an entire two hours of talking about how minimum staffing is being cut because of the, of the budget cuts. We're talking about city agencies up and down that are being cut. There is no way possible that the city of New York and the surrounding communities, like County Executive Blakeman mentioned, dealing with people smuggling fentanyl and other illegal uh, drugs, people conducting burglary patterns. The sheriff mentioned the, the issues that they're facing. It is clear this issue, the failed policies of Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas, our open border has caused chaos amongst public safety, the public safety world in this country. With that, my time has expired. I recognize the ranking member. Mr. 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 Chairman, before uh, you proceed, uh, can I excuse myself? I have a police promotion ceremony back in Nassau County. Absolutely. Mr. County Executive, thank you for being here. Safe home and God bless.